You have entered the Alice pod. Take a seat, sit back, and relax. Hello! So today's video, I am doing another alphabet challenge. We are on letter H, and I decided to build the Hilton Hotel. Emphasis on the H's. This build took me three, almost three days to fully complete, and I had to keep taking breaks because I kept getting overwhelmed and bored <laughs> and when I get bored I have a tendency to rush things and I want to pay attention to detail in most of it I don't really show you that much of the building because it, like I said it took days and the tour is a long tour I don't I go in all the bedrooms because they're all pretty much layout the same I do a bird's eye view at the end of all the different types of rooms some of them have double rooms and a twin or a toddlers. So I do skip straight ahead to the tour very soon. You saw I got to see the shell that I did and um, little bits and bobs of fountains and such. I thought this was a really cool idea. I figured this out on my other build and I was like, wow, instead of leaving the all boxed off with walls inside why don't i use them as feature glass showcases things so here we have it this is in del sol valley a beautiful view of the city i felt it fit in here way better than anywhere else we are on the top i ruined oh my god what's her name the old lady that's famous in the sims i can't remember her name I just um, bulldozed her house and built a hotel. Obviously it's not fully functional, however you could make it functional using the for rent pack and having different units for the rooms, different rooms for the units. So we're going to walk in, ignore the clipping on the statue I made, with the flamingo heads poking out. The clipping is annoying but I was really a big fan of the outcome of that. Them computers are not functional because of where they are placed. However, they don't really need to be functional. It was just for aesthetic purposes. We're going to go into the dining room. The vibe for this was obviously the Hilton Hotel is posh and high-end, over-the-top, avant-garde kind of vibe. So the floor is using Spa Day and I think base game floor if not get to uh, get famous i use the luxury party stuff i use the vintage glamour all the like high-end most expensive i think this hotel is actually over a million and a half simoleons 1.5 mil which is kind of the idea i was trying to get it to be as expensive as it could be some of the rooms are literally t like the bedroom alone not the whole room is like 21,000 simoleons just for the master bedroom. <laughs> so that's the kitchen, dining area space. And we are gonna go and head to the bathroom, the main public bathroom on the ground floor in the lobby. There you've got your um, mail area so you can use it with the for rent pack. This is the posh bathroom with one toilet. I tried to make it look, look as posh as possible. I actually forget to go through that door on the right there. And I head through to the pool room. And then when I come out of the pool room, I'm like, oh my god, I forgot to go in that one. So, we'll go in that one in a minute. This is the blue pool room. Everything is very blue. Calm in space to come and relax. I even took time to decorate the bottom of the pool, which was painstaking. This is out on the balcony area. Beautiful views around here, which goes well with this style of hotel. So now I'm like, oh, I forgot to go in that room there, didn't I? So we just walk through this fence and head straight into the nightclub bar area. DJ booth, tables, bar area, cool wall decor, dance floor, and outside there is a veranda, balcony, porch, 
thing. <laughs> There's too many names for it. Where you can go and enjoy a beverage outside on the patio. Oh my goodness, there's another word for it. So now we are going to head into the final room on the ground floor in the lobby. And this is the spa area. As you walk through, it's very cornered off. We have the changing rooms here. There is a bathroom behind the showers. In reality, in real life, probably wouldn't put it there. But the Sims just don't care where they pee and who watches them pee. So I thought, whatever. We'll put it behind there. So we have massage chairs. We can get your nails done. Massage tables. Ignore that rock pile in the centre. It's not supposed to be there. We have your little meditation area. And again you can go out onto the balcony, patio, veranda. Whatever you want to call it. And enjoy a beverage from the juiced up bar. Which I also used as a front desk for the spa because it fit, it was the only spa one there was. And now we are going to head up to the first floor, which is the only floor we look at because they're all the same. Apart from the decorations, like the statues are different on each floor, and they're different. There should have been a painting there, but for some reason it is not. But the main layout are the same, you've got your walk-in wardrobes, you've got your bathroom. The floor above this one, the rooms are slightly smaller. And then the floor above that one, the top floor, is the same as this floor. But everything's laid out the same, you have all the same amenities. This is the master bedroom, or the primary bedroom. Um, you've got your sofa, TV. I just hit the microphone, I hope that didn't make a horrible sound. So in this one we have just two toddlers, in the one above it is two toddlers, and then down, um, as you can see here anyway, so that one there has a single and a toddler, this is two double rooms, um, over here we have a double and two single beds, twin, a twin room, we have two toddler beds in that one, all of them have one double bed, and then a mixture on each floor of different types of beds depending on which family you're moving in. You can also bring your infant cots and potties and such with you. And as you can see outside there is car park on either side. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Bye!